That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The premier YouTuber for reviewing food based in the Annapolis area who recently graduated in Annapolis High School is back better than ever today with a brand new review reviewing the Papa John's cheeseburger pizza. Now I might sparse in some b-roll right about now, but I'm probably going to be lazy and not do that and just upload this as is. So, what do we got on here folks? We got tomatoes. We got tomatoes. We got a little bit of the sausage. We got, I need to clean my fingernails, I, I should have done that before the video. We got some pickles, we got cheese, we looks like we got a nice cheesy little extra cheesy drizzle on the top. So, being the premier YouTuber of the area, I thought despite this being out for I believe a while, it was important to give my feedback on it, so I will be taking my first bite here, live, on camera, on Addison Reviews, with only one of my light poles set up because I was too lazy. I want to go watch The Simpsons instead of doing this. Let's see how this goes. So I got a little pickle in the bite there. Oh, it's not sausage, it's ground beef. It makes much more sense. So I got a little pickle in the bite there, as you might have saw. Um, first impressions, not too greasy. The, the, the pickles are cooked very well. It's very hard to cook a pickle in the oven well. You can very easily let it be too soggy, very easily make it much too dry. This is what we in the food review business like to call a triple P, okay? Perfect pickle on pizza. Attempted and achieved by very, very few, but I think Papa John's has really done it this time with this pizza and these pickles being very well, uh, 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 having the right moisture. Let's take another bite. Let's get some tomato in there. See how this goes down. Mm. Tomatoes also great. Not sun dried. Still quite dry, but in the perfect way that they should be. Let's get a little bite of that crust real quick, just so we can give a little crust review, even though it's all the same. All right, the crust is tasting quite good. Uh, typical Papa John's crust, but it's got that, you know, it's got that perfect consistency. They've got that formula down for flakiness and moisture. That little greasy yellow bit on the top right there definitely is some sort of cheese, I would believe, cheddar, on top of what I would believe is a cheddar mozzarella blend for the cheese base itself of normal pizza. But there's definitely some cheese on the top which may be American, I don't know my cheeses in the slightest, but it definitely adds something to it. So, let's get another bite real quick and then we'll talk about how things are going. Maybe not, probably not. I'm just going to eat this and then review it more. Alright folks, I would like to say that I, I, I don't do these reviews too often. I'd like to do them more, probably will do them more, because got nothing but free time but that's not important <laughs> but it's very rare that I rate a food a 10 out of 10 I don't think I generally rate the foods anyway I will legitimately say this Papa John's cheeseburger pizza is probably a 10 out of 10 this is really really good I had pizza for lunch to drop my character for a bit I had pizza for lunch didn't really want pizza kind of wanted a burger I got this instead it's really goddamn good um, so if you have the opportunity to buy this Papa John's cheeseburger pizza, I would absolutely, absolutely do so. Available on sale at your local Papa John's. They probably have a cute delivery girl there. But yeah, it was good. It was really good. I really like this a lot. I like these brief reviews, you know, keep it simple. I don't know why most of mine are much longer than this. Yeah, no, that's really, really good. Like, the everything about it, the levels of moisture. There's not a lot of grease, but there's a little bit of grease, which you would expect with a hamburger. The ground beef is not overpowering, which is normally my least favorite part of the burger, just because there's too much. It's got all the toppings you can need. Um, my car smelled like pickles on the entire ride home. And it was delicious, so I have to say this is a, a great pizza. You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb to say, despite the fact that it is November 25th, nearly the end of the month, um, this will be Addison's food of the month, so 
as we can see on the calendar, which I'm going to make in Photoshop now. Never had one before, but I'll just probably throw in the videos, things I reviewed before anyway. But this pizza has joined Addison's Food of the Month Club for November 2018 as my favorite new food I have tried, so. Mmm. Yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna go eat more of this, so. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, have a good rest of your night.